Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing quick review of this digital camera with 4K 48 megapixel 16 times zoom 32 gigabytes SD card. It has a lot of very impressive features, anti shake. And the crazy thing is, the whole thing comes for only $79.99 on Amazon. So the specs looks very impressive, but is it really something which you should buy or something which you can't make as a gift for family or friends? Yeah, it here even says face detection, beauty face, so many things, comes in different colors. And here some very, very impressive specs. So is it really something or is it just uh, rather a scam? So let's open the box and see what we get. Comes also with this nice carry bag. So here we get it. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, of course, it's not very heavy, but it's also not super lightweight. We can remove this protection here. Looks like very large screen. It has all the functions here. What we see that there is no protection here. We cannot close the lid or so. Of course, we are somehow used to that with our mobile phones, but for a camera, I mean, it's very easy to just touch it with the finger and then it's not so good anymore. And so here we get also all the accessories and there are really a lot, I can tell you. Comes with this short instructions manual. Yeah, I'm going to show you a couple of important things anyway, so I don't have to show you the whole manual, I think. Maybe here the most important keys and indicators, maybe this could help you a little bit. So here's some cleaning towel, then comes even with a charger included, normal standard USB-A charger, then this hand strap and this charging cable yeah mini usb definitely not state of the art but we are used to these things there are still quite a lot of such camera things which are still using mini usb instead of micro usb even micro usb is outdated usually these things should come with usb c these days so let's plug it in and charge it for a while but you also see that everything is open there's no protection here if you want to shoot out in the rain yes yeah, absolutely no protection here you have to be really careful yeah, turns on already. We get the uh, micro SD card with a card reader adapter. So let's open down here. Yeah, looks like we need the whole card. We do not only need the micro SD card, so we have to push it inside. And so I guess it's coming here. Yeah, snaps in. Okay. Unsupported system file. Do you want to format? Yes, format. Is this a touch screen? No touch screen, but we can select it from here and then push in the middle and now it's formatting. It has very loud beeping. We have to get rid of this beeping. That's definitely a little bit annoying. Here on top we see some light, some illumination which you can use like permanent light, not only for photo but also for video. Yeah, here on top we have some menu button where we have different modes, normal record, slow record, loop record, time lapse record, normal picture, auto picture. And for that, of course, we need the battery. We put it inside. The good thing, it comes even with two batteries. That's quite nice. So let's see, battery is already fully charged from the factory. So I've been outside and been taking a couple of images and videos and I have to say that it's actually, I would say even uh, above my expectations, I think it has some kind of uh, stabilization, maybe we can see that, but it's very, very limited. So it's still very shaky when we record a video. What's also a little bit annoying, uh, for some reason it seems that it's uh, switching the functions. I mean, while we are uh, taking video or uh, take a couple of images, it keeps the function, but as soon as I hit this button, go to the function, it goes always uh, back to another uh, function. So I click here and you can see it's recording and this is the anti-shake there's definitely if there's anti-shake it's very very minimal i had the impression 
that it is somehow anti-shake because uh, compared to other cameras which don't have anti-shake it was a little bit more stable but again it's very uh, shaky still and the other thing is that when we record normal pictures it takes a little bit maybe we can see that you can see i mean this is the lowest or quite low resolution and it still takes some time to make an image also the zooming here uh, is very limited it's low and it's a digital zoom it's not an optical zoom uh, maybe we cannot even focus here yeah, on this distance of course and here also some sample images and one thing which is really obvious that it doesn't have like an auto rotation or rotation mark so you would have to rotate everything uh, manually in the explorer other than that i think the colors are not too bad I mean usually the blue is blue and the green is green but as soon as you point the camera towards the sun everything turns into very cloudy thing and there almost nothing to see and if you go a little bit into details you can see that uh, it has a lot of artifacts uh, it, it doesn't have really high resolution or so so the zooming is something which you can totally forget and it's not working and the other thing is the microphone. I would say the microphone is pretty good. I mean, I've been transferring the video to my PC and been listening and I think it was not bad. I don't know if it's here, the microphone. I don't see one here in the back. I've been recording a sample and definitely uh, at least the microphone from the front has been uh, pretty good, but also the other one is not bad audio test from the back one two three four five audio test from the front one two three four five what's also good the transfer you can use this uh, mini usb cable to uh, hook it up here and then hook this uh, usb a to your computer and then it will show the file explorer on your pc and the positive thing is that it will show the whole directory everything which you have been recording in one directory so it's not split in different locations or so very easy to use you can even uh, move it not only read it and so you have everything removed after that and you can start and you have a lot of space left so everything is pretty good i mean at least the normal functions and also the positive thing is regardia yeah, can see here now i definitely didn't uh, select the time picture and for some reason it switched into this time uh, picture so again what's good that at least the normal recording the video here and the normal picture is very easy to use so you don't actually need uh, instructions to read and that's for sure not a bad thing that we have this slow motion or in loop recording uh, so you could even use that like uh, as a dash cam on your card and time lapse recording automatic picture like uh, continuous picture time picture whatever that is uh, we even have a tripod mount that's also very positive but on the other hand again yeah it's very open absolutely no protection also no protection here in the front which i really don't like too much yeah maybe one thing i've been missing uh, till now is the mode function uh, we do not only have the selection we have also the player built in and so we can switch between the different uh, images and videos which we have been recording we can even play it directly from here so you can see that that's what i've been recording i stopped this here so it is definitely not too bad it's not a total scam but would i really buy this thing yeah actually rather not when we think about the price of 79 dollars what we could get as an alternate solution like there are mobile phones which you can get for 100 dollars on amazon or ebay like the new humidity g1 that's only 100 dollars so just uh, 20 dollars more you get a huge screen 6.5 inch screen you have you have not only a front camera you have also a selfie camera and the camera is really good 
and I would say the camera is definitely better than this one here. It has better anti-shake, better resolution because the resolution is really limited here. So if you need something cheap, then better go with like the Yumidichi G1, very new phone, has really a lot of good reviews. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Yumidichi down into the description so you can check it out and order drive from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.